Breaking news. Tinubu is a tribal bagot. Dagoras alleged says he pledges support for Sibanjo that he cannot support someone like Tinubu. Hello, my wonderful people. The race to West 2023, you know, has commenced. Uh, what makes it interesting is that a kingmaker wants to become a king. If he wants to become a king, there is no problem, all things being equal. But nowhere there are issues surrounding the kingmaker wanting to be the king. There are real issues surrounding these whole parameters. We're talking about the kingmaker we're talking about has allegations, you know, of money issues, you know, unclear source of wealth, has a lot of things that, you know, may not possibly, you know, be what we've been talking, you know, so things that are clear that could be the, the, the premise of good leadership. So these are things that are really affecting, you know, the whole, the whole kingmaker wanting to be a king. And Dagara said he would rather, you know, place support for Tinubu than, you know, for Sibanjo than Yemi, you know, that for Sibanjo than Tinubu. Let's get all the details. A former legislator, Aminu Tako, and an, and an ally of former speaker, Yakubo Dagra, Honorable Aminu Tako, has described Chief Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who is an aspirant to contest for the presidency, as not fit to rule Nigeria. Tako made his position known in an interview with journalists in Bauchi, while reacting to the aspiration of the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, and Tinubu to fly the ticket for the Old Progressive Congress APC in 2023 presidential election. I don't look at Tinubu in terms of the failure in him, but, and not the personality as well, he stated, when my people were being examine, examined and exterminated in the southwest. I am specifically saying the Fulanis. I have not heard Tinubu say a word. Not a word. That made me to consider him as a tribal by God rather than a nationalist. I don't have confidence in Tinubu. Tinubu will keep quiet in the face of people dying and he wants to be the president. The Fury lawmaker who represented Larry Baji constituency in Bauchi State, House of Assembly, maintained that no amount of persuasion will make him change his mind towards Tinubu. I don't see him as that man who could potentially change the course of things. He does not speak when he should, and I don't think he should be given that opportunity. He's not a nationalist. No way. No nationalist will behave in that way. This is my position. This is my position. And nobody can force me to accept him. I consider him somebody who is not a nationalist. He stated, If somebody from any corner of this country will be killed without records to justice, Tinubu, who is a father, says not a word, and yet wants to be the leader of the country. And guess what? The Fulanis have endorsed him because they see he says no word. Then I don't know what I would do with him. He is supposed to make pronouncements, and we never heard him say anything. At the end of, of the double market episode in Ibadan, we all know what happened. Have you ever heard him say anything? But when something happened in the north, he goes there to spray money, 50 million here, 50 million there. My advice to APC is not to consider filing Tinubu in at all. Advise APC not to support Tinubu ambition. He warned. Tinubu does not warm up to Nigerians. Maybe they should really consider before they fail totally. Osibanjo is the candidate that will appeal and sell to everybody. I can assure you. So my wonderful people, these are things going on. A former lawmaker, you know, I mean, Belch is considered a northern state. So when things were happening, they expect Tinubu to speak. With the full and his escapades in the in the in the in the in the southwest. Nobody's saying anything. Tinubu is from the southwest, not a single word. And you expect such an individual to speak out and to when there are real issues, when there are real matters for him to say. 
lives are going. Okay? And he says nothing. All of a sudden, you think he will change? This, you know, in his opinion, he feels very strongly that Osiba and Job is a better candidate. So Nigerians, I mean, these are individuals' feelings and thoughts. Okay? This is what individuals are feeling. This is how they think, you know, and they feel very strongly that, you know, things should have been. Yeah? But that's what he's saying. He said, I don't think this will this will go well. I don't think so. Having Tinubu as the president. Tinubu as the president, you know. So people have different opinion about Tinubu. Some about Osiba and Joe. Some has even told Osiba and Joe that if he goes for the president, he's a traitor, he's this, he's that, uh, you know, he's not somebody uh, that could be reckoned with you know you know so i mean it's terrible this is what is happening right now this is what is going on you know he's from the north but he feels very strongly that this person does not have what it takes does not have what it takes okay to go ahead and to ensure safety for nigerians he feels very strongly mm -hmm. that tinubu has been quiet in real matters and issues of national concern you know that would that would change the course of things so this is what we are we are experiencing. This is what is happening. And a lot of persons and people are feeling Tinubu is not qualified based on one, th one or two things they have against him. And they feel very strongly that Tinubu should have made, you know, better efforts in, in the life of people, you know, make better efforts to ensure that Nigerians are safe rather than being quiet in the face of atrocities and all that is going on. Life and property, people, you know, a lot of things have gone on. He did not say a word. All of a sudden, he wants to be the president. You know somebody that cares, and you know somebody that, you know, does not care. You know, you know somebody that cares, and you know somebody that does not care. So how do we, how do we reckon with all these things? Yet he wants to be, you know, president. And this is what is happening. He wants to be president. So my wonderful people will continue to keep you up to speed. As the matter unfolds, remember that um, Tinubu has already declared his intention and uh, a lot of people are, you know, for and some are, ing are against and will keep you up to speed as the matter unfolds. Remember, whoever you choose will become the president for the next four years. Is that what you want? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.